Hello, welcome fellow traders. AMP Futures here presenting another how to video. In today's video, we're going to cover some very basic features of the TradingView charting application as far as customizing your chart. So, for example, we're going to show you how to change time frames, how to access different chart types, how to add indicators, as well as drawing tools. Now, before we get started, one thing that I want to point out that's important to note there are different plans available with TradingView, whether you're using a free basic plan or if you're using a paid plan. And some of the things that we might be demonstrating in this particular how-to video may not be available or accessible for a free basic plan user. For example, specific chart types. If you're wondering where to go to see the differences in plans, just go to TradingView's website at www.tradingview.com, click on products and click on pricing. And you'll notice if you scroll down just a bit, you'll see where it says show all features. You can click the little drop down, and this will give basically give you a comparison between all the different plans. For example, you can see here intraday charts. You can see you know, a lot of this stuff is not available on a basic free plan. So just have an understanding if you are a free user and you're wanting to access a specific chart type that we're demonstrating, you're going to need to most likely upgrade to a paid plan to access those features. So again, go to tradingview.com at the very top. You want to click on products and you'll see very uh, at the very bottom of the list pricing. This will allow you to scroll down and look at the comparison for, between the different plans. Now, going back to the TradingView platform, let's first start off by showing you how to change timeframes on the chart. So it's very easy to do this. There's multiple ways to change timeframes on the chart. In my opinion, the most fundamental way to do it is by clicking the time frame button in the toolbar on the top left corner of the chart. So right now we're looking at the micro E-mini S&P 500, an exchange traded futures contract that trades on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And you'll notice 15 minute time frame is a time frame that we're looking at because you can see clearly it says 15 M there. And also here, you can see there's a numerical 15 as well. And so what I would recommend doing if you're a beginner, just simply click where it shows the time frame on the top left toolbar, and this will collapse down all the pre-built intervals that are already set for you to choose. At this point, it's just a matter of choosing the specific time frame that you want to change to. Very simple. So for example, if I wanted to change to a one minute chart, I can left click, and now you're looking at a one minute chart. It's as simple as that. Another thing you can, I want to point out as well, if let's say there's a time frame that you want to apply into the chart that's not listed in the pre-context menu that you're looking at right now. So let's say, for example, a seven minute chart. If you look at the minute category group, there's no seven minute chart available. So what we do here at the top here, where it says add custom interval with the plus sign, we want to click that. And then now we can click seven for the interval. It's already defaulted to minutes. You can change the interval type as well from minutes to hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, or range charts. So simply choose your interval type and then simply type in your interval and then hit add. Now it doesn't change the chart just yet, but what it will do is add that interval into the context menu as you can see here. Now I can select seven minute chart and now you can see a seven minute chart has been applied. If I want to remove that particular interval that I just added, I can hover over it and you'll see now there's a little X there. Now keep in mind the, one that are, the ones that are already added there by default cannot be removed. If you notice, some of them don't have X's. Like for example, this three minute doesn't have an X. 5 minute doesn't have an X, 15 minute doesn't have an X. So if you don't see the X, this means that you cannot remove it. But the 2 minute does, so I can remove that one. All right, that's one way of changing the interval or time frame on the chart. Another way is you can click the numerical value that you see here on the top of the chart, just click on it, and now you can just simply type in the value. So I can do, for example, 15, and now it's a 15 minute chart. The last way to do it is pretty easy as well. You can just simply type in the interval on your keyboard. So for example, I've hit 5, just hit enter, and now the time frame has been changed to a five minute chart. If I just hit one, hit enter, now it's been changed to a one minute chart. And last but not least, one thing I wanna point out, which you'll see me talk about often as we go through this particular segment, you'll see me talk about favorites. So favorites are really nice because what that's going to allow you to do is be very efficient in accessing your favorite time frames, favorite chart types, favorite indicators, favorite drawing tools, whatever the case may be. So what you want to do in this case for time frames, notice that to the right of every time frame, there's a little star icon. So if I click the little star icon, let's just say here one minute, notice now how that star is yellow. Five minutes, star is yellow. You can see 15 minutes, star is yellow. Now you can see these, these favorites are now listed in the toolbar so I can easily change from one time frame to another because they are now favorites. All right. Now if I want to remove those favorites, you, you're looking for the button with the little arrow pointing down, and now I'm going to deselect those yellow icons and now notice the favorites are moved, removed. All right, so that's how you change the time frames, how you add time frames that are not available, and how you also add them as favorites as well. Let's move on to the next subject. We're gonna show you how to access different chart types on the TradingView charting. So chart types, 
is very similar to applying different time frames on a chart. You'll notice the chart type icon is right here. It's to the right of the time frame button. It looks right now, this is a candlestick chart, so it's showing a candlestick icon. If I click it, now it shows all the different chart types that are available to you. As I mentioned earlier in the segment, if you are a free basic user, some of these chart types you're not going to see. Like for example, you're not gonna see volume footprint. You're not gonna see TPO charts, for example. So you're gonna to need to upgrade your plan in order for you to access the advanced chart types. I believe we're using a pro version of the, of the software right now, so we're able to access some of these nice features as far as chart types. But as far as changing the chart type, it's very straightforward. All you're simply doing is left-clicking the specific chart type that you want to change to. So for example, here's a range chart. All right, now I can go back to the range chart icon and I can just select a different chart type. So let's just say, for example, area chart. So these are all just basic, basic examples. Same thing, if you want to be able to add favorites to different chart types, you'll notice to the right, of every chart type, there's a little star icon. So for example, I can go, um, let's just say the area chart, I can highlight it. Let's do line break and let's do candlesticks as well. So now you can see these are all favorites with the yellow stars, as you can see here. And once you add them, notice now you have three icons of your favorites. So I could easily change from one chart to another without actually hitting the actual drop down to select the chart type within the context menu. So it just makes it a little easier, kind of reduces an additional click per se. To remove the favorites, of course, you deselect the yellow stars. And now notice that it's only one icon and it just takes you right back to that context menu. And that's how you access different chart types and how you apply them as favorites as well. Let's move on to how to add indicators onto the chart. So very similar, you'll notice to the right of the chart type button, there's an indicators button as well. So if I click this indicators button, this brings up the indicators box. So there's a couple category groups that you can see here. You can see technicals, you can see financials, and you also see community. The one thing that I like about TradingView is they've kind of kind of almost integrated social media into their platform. And what I mean by that is this community tab, for example, the language that's used to code in TradingView, from my understanding, is called PineScript. So this basically allows you to customize and build your own custom indicators if you're familiar with the PineScript language. And the community within TradingView is very vast, it's very large. So you have a lot of traders that are willing to share their ideas and upload these custom indicators. And you can see here from the community category group, these are all the different custom indicators that the community has created. And it's really cool because, it, as I mentioned, it kind of have, has more of like a social media approach where you have likes. So you can see, like, for example, the Maxwell Price Action Suite has nearly 2,500 likes. So, again, it's all up to you whether or not you want to be able to, you know, use the indicator. If you want to read more information on it, you can click where it says read more. I know I'm getting a little off topic, but I just think this is one of the biggest strengths of TradingView is they've really integrated a social media approach to their platform where you typically don't see that with many platforms. And it just kind of, you know, sometimes I like to say trading can be a lonely environment. I think it's a, it's a healthy thing to be able to interact with other traders right on the fly and do it right in with the, within the platform itself. And TradingView has done an excellent job doing that. So let's get back to showing you how to add indicators. So there's a couple ways you can do it. First, you just want to search for the indicator that you want to add. So in this case, let's just add something that we see here. Very simple. Uh, let's just scroll down and choose an ATR, for example, average true range. Once you click it, it's going to apply the indicator right onto the chart. All right, so that's a subchart. A subchart essentially will break the chart in half. It'll create a subchart at the bottom of the main chart. As you can see, ATR is at the bottom and the main chart is at the top. And if you hover your mouse cursor over the dividing line, your mouse cursor will turn into a double-sided arrow, and this allows you to left-click and drag and resize the subchart to your liking. Okay. Now, if you want to be able to remove the indicator or make any adjustments to the indicator, notice on the top left corner of the subchart where it shows ATR. If you hover over it, it'll it'll show you a few more menu options. All right. So you can see here that basically removes the indicator. But if I go here where it shows more, now I can go to the bottom here and go to settings, and this allows me to change the settings of the indicators from whether it's input settings, style, or visibility. So just make sure you make your changes accordingly. Once done, you wanna click OK. Of course, if you wanna remove the indicator, just simply click the X, and now the indicator has been removed. Let's show you one more example. We're gonna to go to indicators again here. Now, if you know the name of the indicator specifically, you can just type it in. So here in this case, Bollinger Bands. All right, all right, and we'll just type in, there it is right there, Bollinger Bands. We're gonna left click it, and now the indicator has been applied right onto the chart. Okay, it's very obvious that's there, but if you notice at the top left corner, it also tells you here, BB means Bollinger Bands. And again, same thing. If you want to remove the indicator, you want to click the X or you click the dot here with three, the, the button with three dots and you go to settings in the context menu. And now you can change the input values, the style values, as well as visibility. Make your changes accordingly and simply click OK. If not, you can just always go back and remove the indicator. And now the indicator has been removed. 
And then again, just like time frames and chart types, you're, you have the ability to create favorites for your indicators, which make it a lot more efficient for you to access those indicators. So if I click on indicators here, go to technicals, for example, if you notice to the left now, you'll see a star icon. So I can click the star icon. As I start clicking some of these favorites, you'll notice that those star icons become a solid yellow. And now if you notice in the indicators button to the right of it, there's a little drop down. If I click that drop down, here are all my favorites. So now I can easily access all those favorite indicators without actually going into indicators, either searching for or typing for it. it just makes it a lot more easier for me to access, access my favorite indicators when I add them as a favorite. Of course, to remove them, we're going to do the reverse. We're going to go back to indicators. I'm going to deselect the favorites. And once they're all deselected, notice now there's no drop down menu anymore to the right of indicators because we no longer have any favorites. And that's how you add indicators. And last but not least, let's cover drawing tools. So drawing tools is this toolbar that you see here to the left of the chart. You'll see all the different chart drawing tools that are available to you. What I would rec recommend doing is just hover your mouse cursor over the specific drawing tool icon. It'll tell you what that drawing tool will do. But one thing that I also want to point out as well, to the right of it, there's a little black arrow. If you point your mouse cursor over that little black arrow, this will definitely give you more options from that particular category group. So if you notice, these are the different trend line tools that you could access, all right? Or in this case, these are the different GAN and Fibonacci tools. But if I just hover over, it just says Fib Retracement, and that's a trend line. So that's gonna only allow me to add a trend line. That's only gonna allow me to add a Fib Retracement. But if I wanna be able to add different drawing tools that are related to that particular category group, you wanna make sure you click the arrow pointing to the right. And now you can see the different category groups of Fibonacci and GAN, as you can see there. Now all I need to do is select a specific drawing tool that I wanna use. And then simply draw it on the chart by left clicking while holding down the left click and just move your mouse cursor until you're content with the location of the drawing tool. And then once done, just left click again to apply it onto the chart. And now you can see the actual Fibonacci retracement has been applied onto the chart. Now to remove the drawing tool, what you can do, again, similar concept to the indicators when you have an indicator on a chart, you want to hover your mouse cursor over the drawing tool until your mouse cursor turns into a little hand icon, as you can see there. Once I left click it, now you'll see a little circle appear there. Not only that, you'll see at the top here, this little menu bar appear as well. So you can either remove the drawing tool by clicking this little trash, trash can icon, or you can go here and click more, and then you can also get into the settings. Now, I personally think this is easier just double left clicking on the, um, the drawing tool. This just brings up the actual settings immediately. So now I can change the style, I can change the coordinates and the visibility. All right, now it's gonna remove it by clicking the trash can icon, and now you can see the drawing tool has been removed. Let's do one more, let's do drawing tool. So we're gonna click this little arrow to the right. This gives us all the different category groups for lines or channels or pitchforks. We'll just keep it simple, we'll go trend line. Once you select it, now I can left click and I can draw the trend line just exactly the way we drew the, uh, the Fibonacci. By left clicking, holding down the left click, once you're content with the location of the drawing tool, you're gonna release the left click and then click it again to draw it. All right, or you can double left click it. Once you're looking, you're looking for that little, well, once you have the circle there, you can just actually double left click on it. And this brings you into the settings of the actual trend line. So I can change the style, the text, coordinates, and visibility. Or I can just remove the indicator as I demonstrated earlier. And just like chart types and just like time frames and indicators, what do you know? We can also add them as favorites as well. So we can do that just by simply going to the specific drawing tool category group and just highlight the, uh, the star icon, make sure it's yellow. And once you do that, you'll notice here in the top right corner, this little panel will open up, and this will actually start to add some of those favorites into this little panel here. So let's just go with a different category group. Let's go to the Fibonacci's. Let's add that as a favorite. And now you can see all four of those are favorites as drawing tools. You can move this little panel around too. You don't necessarily have to have it in one location. What you're looking for is that little button with the six dots. So your mouse cursor will turn into a little hand icon as it does there. And I can left click and you can just put it on any area on your screen. I personally like to have it on the top right corner. All right, and now I can just easily click one of the drawing tools. I can just draw it. So this basically reduces the amount of clicks in order for me to access the actual drawing tool. All right, and of course, to remove the drawing tool, you want to go back to the category groups and you want to deselect those star icons, as I'm doing now. And once you deselect all of them, that panel goes away because you no longer have any drawing tool favorites. All right, and this is a quick how-to video on how to customize your chart. We covered how to change time frames. We covered how to access different chart types, how to add indicators, as well as drawing tools. If you have any questions about anything that we've demonstrated, please do not hesitate to contact our 24-hour support staff. You can reach us at www.ampfutures.com. We're available directly to speak to you on the phone, or you can contact us on our live chat, 
as long as the markets are open, we're here to support you. We're open. So please do not hesitate to contact us directly. Thank you very much for listening in. We appreciate your support. Continue watching and keep, keep up to date on any new ideas that we present onto the TradingView website. We're going to be very proactive in getting new content up as much as we can. We thank you very much. Have a nice day. And happy trading.